WASA's fifth national schools quiz competition in the know with H2O. WASA, 50 years and beyond. This year we're talking history. The history of WASA, the water and wastewater sector, and future plans. WASA, so if you're ready, show us what you know in the know with H2O. Water security for every sector. Deliver it, sustain it. Only one more spot is open for the next phase of the competition, as this year's quarterfinal matchups is shaping up to be a clash of the titans. Who will cop the final spot? Good afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. I'm Vernon Ramasar, and you're viewing the eighth and final preliminary round of WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition, In the Know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. Broadcast from Wasta's Public Education Center, St. Joseph. And of course, it's all coming to you on the number one station for local programming, CTV. Here now are the rules. The buzzer should only be tapped after the moderator finishes reading the question. If the buzzer is tapped prior to the moderator completing the question, the question will automatically be passed to the opposing team. There are five rounds of competition. During rounds one to four, students are restricted from communicating with each other. Participant 1 on either team will answer question 1 alone. Participant 2 on either team will answer question 2, etc. If any student is found answering another's question, this student will be disqualified. 100 points will be awarded for all correct answers. 0 points will be awarded for incorrect answers and for partially correct answers. The judges will decide to award 50 or 75 points or ask for clarification towards awarding the total of 100. Teams can earn a maximum of 2,000 points, that is 20 questions by 100 points. If a team is asked a question and does not answer it correctly, the question will be handed over to the other team to answer. If the second team answers correctly, they are awarded 50 points, that is half of the points. The judges can also award 25 points for a partially correct answer. During round five, students can collaborate as this round offers team questions and hence the answer can be discussed. Questions will be posted to the teams individually. After the host reads the question, a total of 15 seconds will be given to participants to collaborate and begin their response. If a team fails to begin their response within the allotted 15 seconds, zero points will be awarded for the question. The judge's decision is final. Now, what are rules without judges? Today's panel are all employees of WASA. They are Head Judge Randy Marcano, Senior Manager, Internal Audit and Compliance. He's joined by Sheena Briggs-Edwards, Health and Safety Officer, and Candace Santana, Hydrological Technician 2. <laughs> the overall winner of this year's competition gets a uniquely designed winner's trophy and $100,000 in cash for their school. With us today are Bishop Anstey High School, Port of Spain. <laughs> and Naparima College. Leonardo Katie of Naprima College, who's on your team? Me, myself, Vikash, Tarun, and Craig. Thank you very much, Leonardo. And Aliyah Kambabach of Bishop Anstey, please introduce your teammates. Aliyah, Leah, Safia, and Akila. Thank you very much, Aliyah. Good luck, teams. We'll take a short break. But when we return, Prelim 8 begins. This is WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. So if you're ready, show us what you know In the know with H2O WASA, 50 years and beyond hey, In the know with H2O WASA In just four short years, the level of 24-7 water distribution has changed dramatically from 18% to an impressive 73%.
the accelerated infrastructural development conducted across the country has ensured that many areas received water for the very first time. Very happy when we got water for the very first time in life. Thank God we get some water now. Everything is a whole lot better. After all, we get water in the pipe. So happy, we just kind of express how happy we are. Mama, I don't have no problem again. Celebrating the joy now flowing across the country. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If no, no, we just do. Wasa, 50 years and beyond. Hey, in the no, we just do. Wasa. Welcome back to Wasa's fifth national secondary schools quiz competition in the know with H2O. 50 years and beyond. Before we go any further, here's a quick recap of the topics. History of the water sector. History of the wastewater sector. Social, economic and leadership impacts. Future plans beyond 24-7 and 2015. And corporatization. Round one, history of the water sector begins now. Good luck, team. So I can have the team captains, Bishop Amsi Aliyah and Leonardo of Naparima, come forward for the first question. Multiple choice. I urge you to please wait until I reach the end of all the options at the end, otherwise you'll be disqualified. In 1965, the authority's total daily water production stood at A, 244 MGD, B, 45 MGD, C, 38 MGD, or D, 55 MGD. Now, Prima. 55, D. That is incorrect. I'll pass it over to Bishop Amsi. 244 million gallons, steely. That is also incorrect. The answer is B, 45. Okay. Thank you both. And we ask now for Leah of Bishop Amsi and Vikash of Naprima College to come forward for your question. Multiple choice again. In 1903, the River Estate Waterworks provided a water supply to which area? A. Eastern Port of Spain B. Northern Diego Martin Valley C. Western Port of Spain or D. Southern Diego Martin Valley Mr. Manstey Western Port of Spain C. Western Port of Spain is correct. Well done. And now with Sophia of Bishop Manstey and Tarun of Naprima College. Here's your multiple choice question. Which of the following is the largest water treatment facility in Northeast Trinidad? A. Arepa Waterworks, B. Guanapo Waterworks, C. North Orapuch Waterworks, D. Hollis Waterworks. Bishop Amsi. North Orapuch Waterworks. C. North Orapuch Waterworks is correct. Well done. And now Akila of Bishop Amsi and Craig of Naparima College. Here we go, multiple choice again. In what year was the entire quarry water supply project scheme completed? A, 1926, B, 1853, C, 1933, or D, 1939? Bishop Anstey. 1939. D, 1939 is correct. Well done. Well, that brings us to the end of round one. Round two, the history of the wastewater sector, begins now. Once again, Aliyah of Bishop Anstey and Leonardo of Naparima. Listen carefully to the question and wait till I reach the end of the question and the options at the end. Which of the following was not a private wastewater treatment plant, WWTP, constructed in 1982? A, Harmony Hall, wastewater treatment plant. B, Rail Springs wastewater treatment plant. C, Edinburgh 500 wastewater treatment plant. D, Strikers Village wastewater treatment plant. Edinburgh 500 WWTP. Absolutely correct, well done. And now, Vikash of Naparima College and Leah of Bishop Anstey. We meet again. Here's your multiple choice question. How many major sewer collection and treatment systems in Trinidad were constructed and expanded by Lock Joint America Limited? A, three, B, four, C, five, D, six. Naparima College. B, four. That is incorrect. Over to Leah from Bishop Anstey. D6. That is also incorrect. The answer is A3. Thank you both very much. Now for Sophia of Bishop Anstey 
and Taruno, not Bruno. Here's your multiple choice question. When did WASA form a new technologies unit to research and investigate new technologies in the water and wastewater industry? A, July 2007, B, September 2007, C, October 2007, D, August 2007. Not D, August. That is, in, that is incorrect. I'll hand it over to Sophia now. July 2007. No, in fact, it was C, October 2007. Thank you both. And finally, we go to Akila of Bishop Anstey and Craig of Napruma College. Here we go, multiple choice again. Coming out of a study by Safij Consulting Engineers in 2005, the area from Mount Hope to Sangre Grande was divided into how many major catchment areas? A, four, B, six, C, five, D, seven. Bishop Anstey. C5. That is incorrect. Craig of Naparima. B6. 6 is correct. Well done. Well, when we return, we'll take a quick look at the scores and then we'll head into another round of competition. This is Wasser's fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the know with H2O 50 years and beyond. Stay tuned. So if you're ready, us what you know in the know it is to oh wasa 50 years and beyond hey, in the know it is to oh wasa forming and educating the nation especially the young ones about water how it's won and processed and how it should be protected are just a few of our major responsibilities here at the public education center the enjoyable learning environment cultivating conservation habits, developing healthy relationships, and giving our public an appreciation of the environment in which we produce water. WASA's PEC, the region's only public education center on water. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If you know it is to oh, WASA, 50 years and beyond. Welcome back to WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the NOAA's H2O 50 years and beyond. To learn more on the history of WASA, upcoming initiatives, and future plans, feel free to visit WASA's Public Education Center in St. Joseph or log on to www.wasa.gov.tt. Teams, here are the scores thus far. Bishop Ansi High School, Port of Spain, 400 points. Naprima College, 50 points. Well, now that we know the standings, let's explore the third category, social, economic, and leadership impacts. And once again, I'll call forward Aliyah of Bishop Anstey and Leonardo of Naparima College. Multiple choice again. Which of the following was not an area covered by the computerized financial system known as ALCI, Assets, Liabilities, Capital, Income, and Expenses? A, Purchasing, B, Inventory Management, C, Human Resource Management, or D, Fixed Assets? Bishop Anstey. C, Human Resource Management. Absolutely correct. And now, Leah of Bishop Anstey and Vikash of Naparima. Multiple choice again. The first staff of the Water Resources Survey received training during which period? A, 1966-1970, B, 1970-1974, C, 1968-1972, or D, 1972-1976. Bishop Anstey. B, 1970 to 1974. That is incorrect. Over to you now, Vikash. C, 1968 to 1972. That is also incorrect. In fact, it was A, 1966-1970. Thank you both. And now Sophia of Bishop Anstey and Tarun of Naparima. Here is your multiple choice question in round three. A foreign delegation from which country visited the Navet and El Socorro Waterworks in 1974 to gain first-hand knowledge of the methods used in providing water and wastewater services to customers? A. Canada B. England C. Germany D. Japan Naparima B. England That is incorrect. Hand it over to Sophia. A. Canada That is also incorrect. The answer is D. Japan. Thank you both. 
And now Akila of Bishop Ansi and Craig of Naparimo. Here we go with your multiple choice question. Which of the following softwares were utilized by WASA's Assets Maintenance and Facilities Management Department? A. SCADA, B. Maximo, C. ALSI, or D. STORMS? Naparima. C. Alice. ALSI. No, that is incorrect. Akela? A. SCADA. And that's also incorrect. The answer is B. Maximo. Well, that concludes round three. We'll now move into the category next round, which is WASA's future plans beyond 24-7 in 2015. Once again, Aliyah of Bishop Anstey and Leonardo of Naparima College. Here you go, multiple choice. What 24-7 milestone did WASA achieve by July 31st, 2013? A, 24-7 supply to 49% of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. B, 24% seven supply to 73% of customers, C, 24-7 water supply throughout Tobago, D, 24-7 supply to 18% of customers. Bishop Anstey. 24-7. 24-7 supply to 49% of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Excellent and correct. Well done. And now, Leah and Vikash. There we go, multiple choice. The Universal Metering Program will expand meter coverage to how much of the population? A. 26%, B. 12%, C. 20%, or D. 10%? Naparima. A. 26%. That is incorrect. Leah? C. 20%. 20% is correct. Well done. And now Tarun of Naparima College and Sophia of Bishop Anstey. Here we go with your multiple choice question. Which area received a 24-7 water supply following completion of the Beach Water Improvement Project? A. Tamana, B. Plumeta, C. Tabakit, D. Crown Point. Bishop Anstey. Tamana. That is incorrect. Hand it over now to Naparima. C. C. Tabakit is also incorrect. The answer is B. Plumeta. Thank you both. And we now Call up Akila of Bishop Ansi and Craig of Naparima. Here we go with your multiple choice question. WASA's strategies for sustainable water supply aims to maintain supply levels during which period in particular? A. Wet season, B. Dry season, C. Disasters, or D. Hurricane season? Naparima. B. Dry season. That is correct. Well done. Well, four down, one more to go. We'll take a short break, but when we return, we'll recap the scores and jump into round five. Stay tuned to CTV, WASA's nat fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. We'll be back after these. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If you know it is to When you waste water, you waste one of the most precious resources in the world by filling up the sink when we wash our dishes, taking shorter showers and by fixing leaking water tanks, we can save millions of gallons of water every day and still get the job done. Remember, we need water because without water, your life will never be the same. Water. Use only what you need. A message from Wasser. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If you know it is to We've successfully completed four rounds of competition, and in a few minutes, one of these two competing schools will move on to the quarterfinal round. You're viewing CTV, and this is the leading national secondary schools quiz competition. WASA's in the know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. As promised before the break, here's a quick look at the scores. Bishop Ansi High School, Port of Spain, 650 points. Naparima College, 150 points. 
In round five, teamwork and cooperation is a must. This round allows students to collaborate and work out their answers together. Let's see who has what it takes to become today's victor and join with the other quarterfinalists. Prior to the start of competition, there was a coin toss that Bishop Anstey won, and they decided to go first. So on to round five, corporatization. Here we go. First question to Bishop Anstey. What does the acronym CGAP mean? Corporate Governance Agency Plan. That is not what I have here, so I'll offer the question over to Naparima. Corporate Corporization Governance Action Plan. Close, but not quite. Corporate Governance Action Plan. But the next question comes to you. Now, Prima, here you go. Identify two critical issues, critical success factors in the Singapore corporatization model. It provides a good sense of welfare to the citizens and has an overly efficient model. Judges. That's incorrect. So we'll pass it over now to Bishop Anstey. They gained independence in 1960. That's also incorrect. Also incorrect. All right, so the answers I have here, uh, any two of these, political will, institutional strengthening, integrated land use planning, enforcement of legislation, public education, application of advanced technology. Well, we stay with you, Bishop Anstey, for question three. Which of the following was a critical success factor under the corporatization model adopted by the National Water and Sewage Corporation, Uganda? A, political will, B, build, operate, transfer arrangement, C, delineation of powers, or D, public education? Political will. That is incorrect. So we'll hand it over to Naparima. C. Delineation of powers. That is correct. Well done, Naparima. <laughs> and we'll stay with you, Naparima, for the final question in this round. Which of the following measures has been performed by WASA's Corporate Governance Task Force? A. Development and approval of a code of ethics and business conduct. B, establishment of a system-wide accounting. C, commencement of an emergency disaster plan with the employees. D, implementation of a public sector complaint system. D, implementation of a public sector complaint system. That is incorrect. Over now to Bishop Anstey. Development and approval of a code of ethics and business conduct. That is correct, Bishop Anstey. Well done. WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools quiz competition in the Noah's H20, 50 years and beyond, will return in a flash. Keep it locked on CTV. So if you're ready, show us what you know in the Noah's H20. I could wash, I could clean, I could do our shows and life better. Rich Plain can feel proud of its name now with a better supply of water from Wasa. Thank you, Wasa. Wasa, celebrating 50 years of service.
When you waste water, you waste one of the most precious resources in the world. By turning off the water while we brush our teeth and by using a watering can to water our plants, using a bucket to wash our cars, we can save millions of gallons of water every day and still get the job done. A message from the Water and Sewage Authority. So if you're ready, show us what you know. If you know it is to owe, what's up? 50 years and beyond. Hey, if you know it is to owe, what's up? Welcome back and thanks for staying with us on here on CTV for WASA's fifth National Secondary Schools Quiz Competition, In the Know with H2O, 50 years and beyond. Judges, the final scores please. Bishop Anthony High School, Port of Spain, 700 points. Napriema College, 200. Congratulations to Bishop Anthony High School, Port of Spain. And good job, Napriema, as well. You've now joined the other seven quarter finalists. They are St. Joseph Convent, St. Joseph, San Juan South Secondary, Vishnu Boys Hindu School, St. Mary's College, Presentation College of Warners, Swaha Hindu College, and Hillview College. I'm Vernon. Join us again Tuesday, May 12th at 5.05 p.m. right here on CTV or streaming on ctntworld.com for the first quarterfinal matchup. Also, don't forget to hit us up on Facebook at WASA National Secondary Schools Quiz in the know with H2O. Bye for now and thanks for viewing. WASA's 5th National Schools Quiz Competition In the Know with H2O WASA 50 Years and Beyond This year we're talking history The history of WASA The water and wastewater sector And future plans WASA So if you're ready Show us what you know In the Know with H2O WASA 50 Years and Beyond hey, In the Know with H2O WASA WASA Water security for every sector Deliver it, sustain it